Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will make two DIYs and I will make them for my husband. But of course, they are not only for boys, for men. Uh, I like them. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get started. I will explain along the way. So my first DIY, my husband is, as you probably know, if you have followed me for some time, uh, he is a huge Pink Floyd fan and I have already created two album covers for him, The Wall and uh, Dark Side of the Moon. And now I went through the album covers and uh, this one caught my eye. It's called the, the Vision Bell. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So I start with this old canvas that I will paint over. And uh, I also have these foil platters that I bought from our local action store for a couple of dollars. And you can see there is my inspiration, the, al the album cover that I will try to recreate. And I also have some letters that I will use later on. And now on to the canvas and I am uh, painting um, the different parts of, um, of the paintings, just uh, getting the base cover on. As you can see, there is not much going on in the background of the album cover. There's some sky, some fields and some buildings in the distance and then the top and bottom parts uh, that are black where the letters go. And uh, the main focus are the heads. And I kind of like them. They look like Easter Island monuments. And I will make the heads out of these foil platters. And I'm looking at the album cover and I try to recreate uh, uh, roughly how the head looks. There you can see where I am at and uh, I will start cutting it out and the foil is very thin but it's still sharp so be careful and uh, then I will take this, turn it upside down and trace it on the other platter and cut out that one too so I have two of the same, the two heads. Now I am taking a screwdriver, a small one, and a hammer, and I will make very tiny indents so it looks like hammered steel. Doesn't need very much because it's very thin. You can see there on the back how it looks. It takes a bit of time but it will look good in the end. So this is how it looks, but still it looks very flat, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, tweak it a little bit, fold it and make it more three-dimensional. Mm. 
This video is also part of a collaboration. I have teamed up with five other YouTubers and it is called For The Boys Collaboration. We are creating for the men in our lives and hope to inspire you to do something for you, the men in your life or for yourself. And uh, I will quickly introduce my fellow creators and they are Elizabeth at Dandy Soap DIY, Tina at A Country Girl's Attic, Elena at Elena Jenkins DIY, Kimo at Kimocraft, and Jackie at Jackie Burns Creations. If you are not familiar with uh, these YouTubers, jump on over right after this video and check out what they have to offer. I leave links in my description box below to each of their channels and also to the playlist of this collaboration so you can get tons of inspiration. As you can see, I have begun uh, with uh, all the clouds in my painting and uh, uh, the heads will cover most of it so you don't need to be a uh, hundred percent but still painting away and after the clouds are done I will go over to the field see what I can do there you can see the heads there where are they going to be positioned at the end. Now on to the field. Different kind of greens, um, browns if you will. Working on the tiny bits in the distance, the buildings, the trees. Now I'm taking a wood strip, but just something straight to make sure that the black parts on the bottom and on the top are straight. Now on to the heads. I'm taking a sponge and I'm dipping in uh, different colors, a grayish color. I mixed um, white, brown and uh, some yellow to get that um, aged look. And now I am uh, doing the shadows to accentuate uh, the features of uh, my monument there. If you are new to my channel, hi, I am Marika, and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrifting, decorating, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative. Please join me, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and let's be friends. I have painted the letters and now on to the eyes of uh, these, these heads and I'm taking just a button or two actually and I'm painting uh, them red and yellow just as my inspiration piece. Now on to assembling the whole thing and voila! Here it is, the finished piece. Pink Floyd, the Division Bell. And here they are, my Easter Island heads. They look like a mix between metal and stone. What do you think? Do they look anything like the original? Leave me a comment down below.
you can see the eyes second DIY is for my husband's uh, bathroom grooming stuff let's do this I have this box that I made uh, upcycled uh, made a DIY some time ago and I have this wood strip that I will use as a divider within the box and it will fit right in here in the, the cupboard in our bathroom. So I'm starting by taking off the nautical rope and I'm measuring my wood strip to size there. And I take my hand saw and cut everything to size. And it will look something like that. I started by drilling pilot holes in the big piece like that and on the ends of the smaller pieces. And putting some glue on and screw them together with tiny screws. I will just set it aside for a while for the glue to set a little bit before I take the next step. And I found this big belt from the 80s in my stash and I might use that part for another project but for this project I will only use these pieces. Just cut them off and then I will make bigger holes in the ends, each end with this tool here and the hammer. It took me a while though. And now on to painting. I'm painting the whole box inside and out uh, with a black satin color and I applied two coats and I also painted this divider. Same procedure, two coats. While that was drying, I spray painted some screws and nuts and some letters in a copper color. And now I'm attaching the leather pieces with the screws that I spray painted just a minute ago. And um, yeah, with the screws and the nuts uh, to give it a more industrial look. I will show you a little closer. This is how it looks. And now I'm making something to put into my grooming container. I have this crisp box that I will cut a piece of with my hand saw. I sand it off and then I will cover it with this fabric which I will hot glue into place. Just cutting it to size 
and enough to go all the way around my little container. If you like videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. I have this placemat that I have cut to size to fit on the bottom of my box. It's good to have something plastic there since it's going to sit in a bathroom. And then I will put my divider into place. And we're almost there now. I have already um, glued on my letters that I previously sprayed with the same copper color as the screws. I will show you in a second. And here it is, sitting out on the vanity. And these are my letters. Hashtag 29, hashtag hot, and hashtag grooming. And here they are, small containers, and a razor, and things like that. And this is my cute crisp container that now holds cotton swaps. And I just spray painted the lid in a black color and put on a screw. And here are the letters and the handle. I think it turned out great. And 29. My husband turns 29 every year as I do 27. And here it is in the cupboard. Perfect fit. So tell me what you think. Leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I see you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.